Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Farmer Jess, and I hope you liked yesterday's video because all this week I am talking to you about my farm, singing you songs from my book, Farm Nursery Songs, and then teaching you how to write your own songs. I'll be giving you tips and tricks on what helped me when I was writing my songs for my book. And this is today's co-host, Moss. Say hi, Moss. All right, so today's song is called Three Brown Cows. So I wrote this song because as you can see, we have a lot of brown cows. Did you know that there are actually seven different breeds of dairy cows? What most people think of when they think of cows are Holsteins. They're the big black and white cows. These are called Jerseys. Uh, jerseys are what you saw at Farmer, at Farmer Katie's farm too. We only have Jerseys. Uh, there's also Brown Swiss, Milking Shorthorn, Ayrshires, Guernseys, and Red and White Holsteins. Red and White Holsteins are a lot like Black and White Holsteins, just Red and White instead of Black and White. So each breed has different characteristics that define it. For example, Holsteins are the biggest breed by far. They also make the most milk, which is why most people have Holsteins. Jerseys, I'm a little biased, but I think they're the cutest. Hi, Moss. Yeah. Hi. Um, now I've got cow slobber on my face. Uh, and they make the least amount of milk, but their milk actually has more fat and protein in it, which I'll talk about later. Brown Swiss, for example, are from Switzerland. Do you know what Switzerland has a lot of? Mountains. So brown Swiss are known for having really strong feet and legs. They had to, to hike up all those hills and mountains. So, but what I wanna talk about more today is jerseys, because that's the kind of cow that we like the most here. So jerseys, like I said, are the smallest breed. Uh, but they still weigh like a thousand pounds, which is super heavy. Uh, and they may not give the most milk, but they do have the most fat and protein in milk. Protein in milk is one of the reasons it's so good for us. And people who make cheese tend to really like Jersey milk because the, the protein means that you can make more cheese out of a pound of Jersey milk than you can out of a pound of other cow's milk, which is super cool because who doesn't love cheese? Yeah. Hi, Dew. This is Dew. Hi, sweet girl. Another thing that's really cool about Jerseys is that they're more feed efficient than other cows. Do you know what that means? I didn't. I kind of had to look that up. So what that means is that they can eat the same amount of food, but produce more milk from it, which is super cool. Okay. One other thing about Jerseys that I really love is that they like to lick things. As you can see when Moss there's still feet on my face. Moss just licked my face. Um, they like to lick me, obviously. They lick each other, they lick gates, they lick posts. They just like to lick. Sometimes they just lick the air. Literally like this, this is how it looks. They do that all the time. I don't see anyone doing it right now. They're pretty calm. They just got milk, they just got fed, so they're all taking a rest. But that's what inspired my song, Three Brown Cows. So Three Brown Cows is sung to the tune of Three Blind Mice. And it's uh, probably one of my favorites in the whole book. You ready? Three brown cows, three brown cows. See how they lick, see how they lick. They like to lick the farmer's face. They follow the farmer all over the place. They don't get the concept of personal space. Those three brown cows, three brown cows. One of my favorite things about this song is how it talks about they kind of get in our personal bubble. Do you know what that means? That means our cows trust us. If animals are afraid of you, they won't come that close to you. Our cows, as you can see, clearly aren't afraid of me. That means we treat them well. All farmers do. They're our responsibility and that's our job. All right, so how's your song coming? Yesterday I asked you to pick a song pick a topic, and maybe write down a few things you want people to know about that topic. So mine was Itsy Bitsy Spider, flowers, and that they smell good and they make me happy. So today's, uh, today's lesson is get to know your song really well. So if it's Itsy Bitsy Spider, you should count how many words are in it, count how many syllables are in it, get your family to help you if you need it. Then you need to know what words rhyme with what words. So for example, in Itsy Bitsy Spider, the second line rhymes with the fourth line. So that's what I need to do in my song too. And another thing that might help you as we start tomorrow, we're gonna to start writing the first couple of lines. 
uh, think of some words you might use in your song. So I might use happy or smell or color or pretty and write them on a piece of paper and come up with words that rhyme with them. So let's say I'm gonna use the word smell. Maybe words that rhyme with smell are well, swell, tell, fell, I do. Yeah. You may not use them, but it is a really good practice in figuring out how to rhyme, and it'll help you when you start writing your own song. Got it? Good luck, and keep on working. And don't worry if you get discouraged. Feel free to ask for help in the comments. I'm sure somebody out there is willing to help you. See you guys tomorrow.